Hey, what's up guys? Clinton Emmer here coming at you with a, another useful tool, uh, another technique today. So this, this is not a uh, common core math chart up here either. I, I promise it's much more simple than that, okay? So this is a motivational tool. If you're uh, running out of ideas on what to do with someone, with your kids, with you know your subordinates at work or whatever, use this, okay? So <clears throat> start up here, uh, using positives. So adding positives, okay? Give someone a bonus, uh, you know, give something cool to someone, a gift, right? Adding some positivity, just kind words work, okay? Um, so that, I want you to stay over here if possible, because positivity breeds more positivity, right? An upward spiral is better than a downward spiral, okay? So if you are uh, adding negatives, Okay, if you're the negative Nancy all the time and you just kind of like, uh, I don't think we can do this, that that breeds too in the workplace or in the family. So a lot of people I've seen, they just try to add negative sometimes. They're the old old guy and they're like, hey, back in my day, I used to do it like this. Well, it's a new day. We do things differently now. And that one trick pony of just whipping people for discipline doesn't work, right? And neither does being a Santa Claus. You can't just be the positive guy all the time, okay? You do have to keep some order and discipline, okay? So say taking away a negative, right? If your subordinate, one of their duties is to sweep the floor, if you jump in there and you sweep the floor for them too, uh, that, that shows that you have some buy-in and it's taking a task away from them, right? Maybe they can get to go home a little early, okay? Maybe it's with your kids. Maybe they're the dishwasher. If you do the dishes that night and say, hey, why don't you go play some video games? I got the dishes. Uh, same thing for your spouse. If they're the one who usually does a task, you jump in and take that task from them. Uh, you know, it's a good thing. You know, taking away negativity. Uh, also, you know, just the, the negative attitudes, right? If you have had a negative attitude and you know you've been a negative presence, stop it. <laughs> just stop it. You know, start being a positive presence, okay? Um, so taking away a positive, that's another thing you can do. It's another trick in the book, right? If your kid had weekend plans and he got in trouble, you can ground him, take away that positivity. If they got that iPhone or that smartphone or whatever, uh, take away that phone. That That's an easy step. If you can't just add positives, you can take away a positive in that sense, right? And do it short term, you know, use it incrementally. And if you say you're gonna do it, you gotta do that thing, okay? It's better than adding negatives, right? You can always, uh, you know, give someone a stern talking to, give them additional duties to do. You can you can come up with things to keep someone busy, right? You can just be like, hey, we're cleaning this garage, kids. And uh, that's an easy go-to one is like instant cleaning. Everything gets cleaned. Even if it needs it or not, you can just start cleaning. Um, try not to do that. Try to stay on the positive side. Uh, but like I said, you need more than just one one trick, right? You can't be that one trick pony. You can't be a Santa Claus. You can't be a negative Nancy. But so here's some other tools for you. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, um, where this is being posted in the discussion areas below, above, around, whatever. If you want to talk about it more, feel free. Um, let's talk about it. If you got other tips and tricks. All right, guys. Uh, Clinton Emery signing off. Thanks. Bye.